Hey guys, before we do get into the video, I have a quick disclaimer. As many of you know, I have made a couple highlight videos recently, talk, you know, just highlight videos on the Detroit Lions upcoming season and their incoming rookie class. And it seems like you guys really enjoyed them. They're some of the best videos on my channel as far as likes and views wise. And you know, I really enjoyed making them. And, but I do want to branch out and do a little bit more. And I love making those highlight videos. So I started a second channel. It's right or wrong highlights. It's literally just all highlights and hype videos of players and teams and the NFL in general. You know, it can be college or NFL. You know, I'm gonna make all kinds of different videos, all kinds of different things. So if you are interested in that, if you did enjoy the highlight videos on this channel, there will be a lot more on my second channel. Link will be in the description of every single video as well as the about tab on my YouTube channel. But with that being said, let's get into the actual video. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Detroit Lions video. Today we have another player that we're going to be talking about, but this guy is not a defensive lineman. He's not a linebacker. He's not even on the defensive side of the ball. This guy's actually a wide receiver and he's not even a free agent. He is a current member of the Tennessee Titans and that guy is of course Corey Davis. Now I want to go over and talk about should the Detroit Lions trade for Corey Davis because around the draft there was a couple speculations and recently there's been a couple speculations you know stories that you know maybe the Detroit Lions might want to trade for Corey Davis and add him to this receiving core and you know I'm just you know I saw that and I thought you know my guy Luke G's field review kind of mentioned it the other day about maybe the Detroit Lions trading for a guy like Corey Davis and that could be really really interesting and I'm gonna go over kind of what he did in college what he's done in the NFL and why the Detroit Lions and Tennessee Titans might mutually want to make this trade happen and whether it would be a good or bad thing for the Detroit Lions so with that being said let's get into the video but if you are new to the channel and are enjoying the content consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel it takes two seconds out of ready to make mine and I would be very very appreciative to everybody that chooses to do so but with that being said let's get into talking about whether or not the Detroit Lions should trade for wide receiver Corey Davis <laughs> Now, obviously, a lot of you guys are going to say no right off the bat, right? I say wide receiver, and you're like, nope, we got a stacked wide receiver core. We're good. You know, no, you know, nobody else is in need. We're already going to cut a bunch of guys that are talented, and we don't need any more competition. So the Detroit Lions currently only have one wide receiver that is set to be on the roster for next season. Now, obviously, we can resign players. We can, you know, bring in new guys if we need to. But at this moment right now, the only wide receiver that is under contract for the 2021 season is Quintez Cephas, the current rookie right now. Kenny Galladay is not. Marvin Jones isn't. Amendola isn't. Hall isn't. You know, none of these guys are under contract. And we could resign them and most likely will resign some of them. But it couldn't hurt to bring in a guy that will be under contract in the 2021 season and a guy that is much younger. Marvin Jones is 30 and Amendola is 34. These guys are on the wrong side of 30 at this point. And you know, while they're still producing now, any any given year, any given week, they could drop off and just their stats could absolutely plummet. And I don't think it's a bad idea to bring some youth into this wide receiver core. Corey Davis is a former first round pick as he was selected fifth overall by the Tennessee Titans in the 2017 NFL draft. Now, Corey Davis absolutely dominated the college level, obviously being drafted the fifth overall pick. In his career at Western Michigan University, Corey Davis had 331 receptions for 5,278 receiving yards and 52 touchdowns. All three of those stats are school records, and the 5,278 receiving yards in a career is a career or is an NCAA record that is still held by him to this day. Corey Davis holds that record for most receiving yards in a career, but he also holds the NCAA record record for most 100-yard games in a career as well. He was a 2016 Consensus All-American and a 2016 MAC Offensive Player of the Year. He also led Western Michigan to their most successful season in school history as, a th as they had a 13-1 and record, only losing to number 8 Wisconsin in the Cotton Bowl. So Corey Davis in his collegiate career was a monster. This guy dominated every single Saturday. You know, he was just, he was putting on a show. He was putting on a spectacle. And you could say the talent he was playing wasn't great, which is a fair point. But, you know, he's still put up a ton of numbers, a ton of records. You know, he holds pretty much every receiving record at that school. He holds a... As I mentioned, he holds a couple NCAA records, and you know he was very, very good in college. Make you know, and obviously that shows us he was drafted number five overall. However, Corey Davis's success has not translated over to the NFL as he and most Tennessee Titans fans were hoping. Corey Davis has never surpassed 900 yards nor four touchdowns in his NFL career so far. And granted, it is a very young career, but you were hoping that a guy you pick, as, you select at number five, who had this elite or this elite collegiate career, would have a little bit more success in the NFL, and that so 
far has not happened. In the 2019 season, Corey Davis had played in 15 games for the Tennessee Titans, had 43 receptions, 601 yards, and two touchdowns. He dropped four passes and has a drop percentage of 5.8, which is not very bad, right? So now that we know what Corey Davis did and what Corey Davis has done in the NFL, let's talk about why the Detroit Lions might want to trade for him. As I mentioned earlier, the Detroit Lions only have one wide receiver under contract after this current season, and you know, they might not want to bring back some of these older guys, like Amendola's 34, Marvin Jones is 30, like these guys are getting up there in age, and the Detroit Lions might want to pair a younger wide receiver with Kenny Galladay, so they have this dynamic duo, this young duo that they can take into the future, and you know, have them play for the Detroit Lions for, you know, half a decade or more, and you know, that just have a reliable person that, you know, is getting better, they're getting into their prime, and they're not decreasing in production and talent level at this point. You know, the Detroit Lions want to get younger at the position, pairing a young, talented wide receiver in Corey Davis with Kenny Galladay, a young and talented and up-and-coming wide receiver in the NFL, and those two can grow and bond together and be an elite wide receiver duo in the NFL for years to come. Now, Corey Davis did not have the elite NFL career that a lot of Titans fans and himself was hoping for, but I don't think it's 100% his fault. Now, Corey Davis throughout college and throughout the pros has shown to me that he is much more successful down the field. He's much more comfortable running deep passes. He's much more comfortable winning jump balls deep down the field. And, you know, I just feel like his skill set is more bait or his, he is more successful going down the field, being a big play threat, you know, getting a lot of targets down the field, opposed to a lot of screen passes, a lot of quick slants, a lot of things like that. And the Titans ran him like that. The Titans made it so that he was running a lot of short passes, a lot of screen passes, and they were not sending him down the field a lot, which is his biggest strength in my opinion. The Detroit Lions last season were, you know, they took so many shots downfield. You had guys like Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones and Marvin Hall, you know, take getting huge chunk plays on a ton of deep balls as Daryl Bevel's philosophy is to air it out, right? He loves running the ball, but when your quarterback's throwing it, your quarterback's going to air it out. And Matthew Stafford has the arm and that is his preferred play style is Matthew Stafford loves airing out the ball. You know, he has the arm count to make every single throw. And if we get a guy like Corey Davis, you better believe he's going deep more than he's going shallow because I mean, this guy is super talented. He has he has so much talent. He has the ideal body size. He has the idea, you know, the ideal skill set for a Detroit Lions wide receiver. And that is a big play, deep threat, you know, contested catch ball kind of guy. And Corey Davis did that a lot in college. Hasn't done that a lot in the NFL, which is why I think he struggles. And the Detroit Lions game plan for wide receivers is has them go, have them go deep and go make plays for you as Matthew Stafford lays an absolute bullet in the air. He throws a missile and, you know, connects with the wide receivers 50, 60 yards downfield. And I think that play style equates much more to what Corey Davis likes to do and what Corey Davis is better at than what the Tennessee Titans are currently doing right now in Tennessee. I also think that the lack of production comes from the Tennessee Titans being a run first team. Obviously, they had the Russian King Derek Henry, who just got paid a few days ago. And, you know, their MO is run the football. Even though the other team knows they're running the football, they're going to do it anyway because Derek Henry is so dominant and so efficient that, you know, no matter what's coming, they're going to look to run the football first. They the, the opposing team could literally put all 11 players in the box, and they the Tennessee Titans would still run the football because Derek Henry is that good. So, you know, with a dominant force in the run game like that, can you blame the Titans for not throwing the ball a lot? And, you know, obviously if you're not throwing the ball a lot, your wide receivers don't have a huge, or they don't have a lot of opportunities to make big plays and put up big stats. You know, that's kind of why the Detroit Lions are trade for him, right? His skill set fits better with what Detroit is doing than what the Tennessee Titans are doing. However, the Titans also have to agree to this trade, and the Titans might want to be getting rid of their former first round pick, you know, after only a couple years. First thing is they did not pick up his fifth year option yet. You know, they're still hesitant on that because he hasn't put up the numbers. He hasn't been that dominant force that he was in college. So the Titans are kind of hesitant and they might be looking to trade on to get more for, you know, to get a little bit, recuperate a little bit of that, the capital that they put into Corey Davis. You know, they're not going to get a fifth overall pickback, but they're going to try to recuperate some of that capital and get more back versus just letting him walk as a free agent. The Tennessee Titans, as I said, are a run first team, so they don't need a lot of good wide receivers. And they found a star in the second round at AJ Brown. This guy had a a huge rookie season last year had a great rookie season and showed that you know he's probably better than Corey Davis at this point and the Tennessee Titans might be looking to ship on Corey Davis to get a pick back for you know a guy that they're most likely gonna let walk in the 20 
2022 season and you know they could be looking to trade him away for not a whole lot and you know so I just feel like looking at what he does well looking at how he would fit in our system looking at you know the fact that our wide receivers aren't going to be here next year a lot of them and you know I just feel like it's too perfect of a fit not to do you know obviously there are restrictions right I'm not going to say that the Detroit Lions should give up their whole draft but if it's reasonable a third round pick or something like that I would be 100% down for us trading for Corey Davis because I think his skill set fits Detroit so much better than it fits Tennessee I think him and Kenny Galladay growing together would be great for both of them I think Stafford is I mean Stafford is obviously a better quarterback talent than Ryan Tannehill and Marcus Mariota who you know who Corey Davis has thrown to him right now and you know I think if Corey Davis comes to Detroit he gets a huge resurgence and gets back to that western Michigan guy that dominated on every single weekend and just was a force in the past game so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below do you think we should trade for Corey Davis and get a second young star to pair with Kenny Galladay and have them grow and be an elite receiving duo or do you think we should just stick it out with some of the older veterans in Marvin Jones and Danny Amendola and then next year just draft somebody or pick somebody up in free agent and not waste the pick or not give up the pick let me know what you guys think down in the comments below you know I think it would be a good idea I really think that Corey Davis could fit really well into this offense do exactly what Daryl Bevel wants them to or wants him to do do it at a very high level and be very efficient for the Detroit Lions but obviously that is my opinion what do you guys think do you think we should trade for Corey Davis or do you think we should maybe wait and see if we can get him in free agency in a couple years it's up to you guys you know obviously everybody's gonna have a different opinion but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below I have a feeling this one's gonna be a little controversial because you know I think it's a good idea I have a feeling a lot of people aren't gonna like it but with that being said that is all I figured today if there is Lions this before tomorrow I'll obviously make a video letting every single person know but that is all I figured today I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see all of you in the video tomorrow bye guys Thank <laughs> you.